start. MTC 201129 number 23. I was brought up to believe that if I get lost in a large forest, I will sooner or later end up where I started. Without knowing it, people who are lost will always walk in a circle. In the book Finding Your Way Without Map or Compass, author Harold Gatti confirms that this is true. Harold Gatti We tend to walk in circles for several reasons. The most important is that virtually no human has two legs of the exact same length. One leg is always slightly longer than the other, and this causes us to turn without even noticing it. In addition, if you are hiking with a backpack on, the weight of that backpack will inevitably throw you off balance. Our dominant hand factors into the mix too. If you are right-handed, you will have a tendency to turn toward the right. And when you meet an obstacle, you will subconsciously decide to pass it on the right side. MTC Good job! Let's start. MTC 20112 number 23 I was brought up to believe that if I get lost in a large forest, I will sooner or later end up where I started. Without knowing it, people who are lost will always walk in a circle. In the book Finding Your Way Without Map or Compass, author Harold Gatti confirms that this is true. Harold Gatti we tend to walk in circles for several reasons. The most important is that virtually no human has two legs of the exact same length. One leg is always slightly longer than the other, and this causes us to turn without even noticing it. In addition, if you are hiking with a backpack on, the weight of that backpack will inevitably throw you off balance. Our dominant hand factors into the mix too. If you are right-handed, you will have a tendency to turn toward the right. And when you meet an obstacle, you will subconsciously decide to pass it on the right side. MTC Good job!